What's going on, everybody? It is December 23rd, the final day of NBA DFS before Christmas. Huge slate. 12 games, I think. I'm not counting the 5 o'clock Sixers game. Yeah, 12 games. Um, so let's not uh, let's not waste any time. Let's dive in. Uh, half of these games didn't have spreads, so they're all sort of made up. Um, some of them, like Grizzlies Clippers, is uh, a shot in the dark. But, you know... We're pointing in the right direction. Hornets uh, hosting the Bucks. Hornets one and a half point favorites in Charlotte. Not a ton to, to like here. The only, the main takeaways would be uh, Kemba Walker questionable for tonight. Dwight Howard dislocated a finger last night, so I would assume that he is also um, questionable, which is a shame because uh, Dwight should eat. If he gets a chance to play Milwaukee, um, just getting a ton of buckets at the rim. I don't really love anybody here. Let's see. It's just shots at the rim and corner threes. Like everything else, there's not a ton to like here. You can't like pretty hard to like Kemba right now, although 6,800, he only needs to get to 35. He got there last night, big night, 46.8, but what does the exact news say about him? Uh, as of right now, not in the concussion protocol. Um, if he's out, you definitely want to look at Nick Batum. I don't really want any part of Michael Carter Williams, although I guess in a GPP you need to look at him if he's going to start. Until I hear differently, I'm going to like Dwight tonight. Frank the Tank, 4,100 on FanDuel, 3,900 on DK. He's 20. Um, yeah, probably not. MKG, 5,000 on FanDuel, 4,200 on DraftKings. Needs 20. I like MKG, but that's probably just a DK play. Um, at 4,200, he only needs to hit... Like, if he hits 6x, that's 25, basically. He's done that in th his last three, so I'll take my chances. Then we'll head to Milwaukee. Not too much of interest here, I would guess. That's not right. It's going to be nice to have a, a full day off tomorrow. I don't even necessarily know if I'm going to be able to play tonight. There's a lot going on. But if I do this and see a lot of stuff that I like, like Giannis, for instance, 11-1 on DK. $12,000 on FanDuel. I love it tonight. That's a great spot. 104.5 implied total. It's 11th, so that's, you know, middle of the pack. But in a great spot. Um, same for Middleton, I think. 7700 on FanDuel, 76 on DK. That's pretty expensive. 35 38 I haven't changed it. I'm fine with Middleton. I don't need a ton of them though. Brogdon 4900 and 4500 30 plus in two of his last three. Um, he only needs 20 and change. It's a good value. Definitely gonna want to have some part of the Bucks tonight. No, I don't need anything of Henson or or Thon. And Bledsoe 6400 on DraftKings. That's 32. 
Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Why is Eric Bledsoe so damn cheap on DraftKings? 6,400 is insane. 6x for Bledsoe on DraftKings is 34, which he's done, you know, he's had a couple 32-point games, 38, 48, 56 last night. Love it. Now we'll go to the Pacers. Pacers, 112.25 implied total, 10-point favorites at home against the Brooklyn Nets. Ola Depot, 9,600. More expensive on DK than Fandle, which is just insane. This is going to be a bad copy. Called it. I missed my live streams, guys. Coming back after the Christmas holiday. Okie doke. I can't pay up for Ola Depot at 9600 That's just... That's so much. He needs... 46 or so for value. I mean, granted, he can get there three games above four, for 46 or higher in his last four, so maybe I'm stupid for just disregarding him. Second highest implied total. Yeah, I... And it's the Nets. Now, who else do we want to take a peek at? I don't trust Thad's minutes lately. I will take a look at Miles Turner. And see how good Corey Joseph looks. Corey Joseph, 4,000 on FanDuel, 3,900 on DK. Needs 20. I'll pass. Bojan, 4,300 on DK. Uh, I don't see it. I'm good on Thad. He needs 30. That's too high. Miles Turner, 8,100 on FanDuel, 6,500 on DK. A $1,600 price difference. That is fucking insane. So Turner on FanDuel, 6X needs... 38, which is less than he needs for 5x on FanDuel. He put up 40 in his last one. Two, three 40-point games in his last five. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of Miles Turner tonight on DK. Uh, I wouldn't touch him on FanDuel. But if I play a lot of Miles Turner, absolutely have to. To Brooklyn. Brooklyn on the back-to-back. -back. I have them 102.25 implied total, which would be 17th on the night. Uh, I don't expect much here. So Crab, Dinwiddie, Damari Carroll, Joe Harris, everybody that shoots threes. Dinwiddie, 7,100 FanDuel, 6,400 DK. So he needs 35 on FanDuel, we'll call it 35 across the board. Hasn't done it in a while. But has the ability to get up there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say no. A lot of, lot of things to like in the early games. Uh, it'll taper off a little bit when we get some of these crappy West Coast teams. Alan Crabb is 4,200 on DK, so he'll need 20 and change, which is exactly where he's been lately. Do I like Levert more? I don't think so. Where's Bro? 
Brooklyn. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I like Alan Crab. I want a little bit of him. I have a feeling he can just go off tonight. And then Damari Carroll. 5,700 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DK. So he needs, we'll just say, 28. 31 last night, 29 the night before. Um, but at that 4,800 price point on DK, I'm in. Again, he's probably a DK only guy. I'm good on Rondé Hollis Jefferson, although 6,200 on FanDuel means he needs 30 for 5x. That's not the one I want. Go to the Wiz now. Um, Wizards, 109.5 implied total, which would be a 9 point favorite at home against the Magic. Um, I think we're going to like a lot of the Wizards here. Could be an interesting uh, spot for like Mike Scott or something because this could be a blowout. Love Gortat here. Forty whoa, fifty six hundred on DK. Don't love him there. Gortot is a fan duel only play. Ubre, forty four hundred on fan duel. Forty six hundred on DK. I think that's gonna look pretty good. Uh, he only had nineteen last night. Not a lot of upside there. I'm going to pass on Ubre. I'm fine with it. Um, I thought he had a little bit more upside in him than he does. 8,400 for Beal. 7,800 on DK. So call it 40. Had a terrible game last night. But three straight 40-point games before that. Um, against the Magic. So that'll be a lot of like DJ Augustine and other assorted dudes in the backcourt that aren't very good. So Bradley Beal looks fine. I'm worried about Wall's minutes. I know he only played 16 last night, but I think they're really trying to take care of him. He's in a great spot to go big, but on the back to second game of a back-to-back, -back, I know even, the, even with him being limited, I'm a little nervous. They'll try to be a little too cautious with him, so I'm going to pass. Go to Orlando. Um, you know, most of Orlando is out, or at least that's the assumption. 100.5 implied total, which would be 20th out of uh, 24. Mm. I had DJ Augustin last night, which was a dreadful pick, but I think I'm going to be saying I like DJ Augustin again. So, you know, learning from my mistakes and all that. I'm happy that the Wiz and the Magic are playing because even though I do these sort of videos every morning and watch basketball nonstop, um, they're like the same team to me. I always put Vooch on the Wizards and Gortat on the Magic, but it's never right. Um, nothing immediately stands out from a advantageous perspective. Augustine is 4,000. It's hard to totally ignore him if he's going to play 30 minutes. Yeah, because he could put up 20 something and change. I don't want any part of Peyton, although at 5,900, it's a little bit more palatable. Vooch, 8,600 on DK. I'm okay with that. I would avoid him on DK at, or at FanDuel at 10,000. I 
think that's probably it, though. I, f I feel like I should be taking a look at Peyton, but I just... I don't trust him. And this is a guy that can put up 15, 28 minutes as a starting point guard who's not supposed to be putting up 15 fantasy points, you know? I don't want any other part of Orlando. Just Vooch. To the Hawks. Hawks and Mavs. I don't think there's a line on this. I think I made this up. It's, you know, two bottom-of-the-barrel teams. John Collins on DK might be the only thing we look at. And unless something pops right off the page here, the Hawks are probably not going to be anywhere near uh, rosterable tonight. Alright, got to pay attention a little bit. Schroeder... Is gonna be questionable, I would assume. I don't, I don't remember if I took him out or not. Ugh. I don't think so. I have him in. Right? Yeah, still have him in. Okay. Um. Needs thirty. Five on DK against Dallas against Dennis Smith Jr. Okay, you want to keep an eye on this because obviously news is going to be paramount. But he looks okay and he's in a good spot. Um, Collins needs twenty eight. I have to I have to look at him. I don't want a lot of it though. That's probably it. All the other prices look fine. So let's go to Dallas. Dallas is gonna be without um Devin Harris. So the guards are gonna probably get a boost in minutes. So it might be something to to take a peek at. But other than that, we're not gonna want too much of the Mavs because they're the Mavs. Bombs away. So let's just say we want Wes Matthews and maybe Yogi Ferrell. Maybe Berea. I don't want Dennis Smith. I'm interested in Yogi Ferrell. Just because of the matchup. Now Berea needs, let's say, 25. I don't see the upside there. Wes Matthews, though, f needs 20 and change. Two awful games. Ooh. I'll, I want to have a little bit of him because I think that he could have a huge one tonight. But I don't want to go too crazy. Let's get off of this game. Go to Boston. Celtics hosting the Bulls. Uh, Celtics 106.25 implied total, which is sixth on the night. Um, uh, the assumption is everybody is playing for the Celtics that can play. Um, this isn't going to be a game that is terribly interesting from a fantasy perspective. Like I said, we're going to be hitting uh, the lull here. Okay, we want to look at Kyrie and Horford. I can't ever bring myself the roster market smart. Kyrie, 8,900 on FanDuel, 8,800 on DK. So we'll call it 9.45. That's not for me. I don't want any part of Kyrie. Horford, 7,300 on both. It's 35 plus. Um, there's some upside there. Gotta at least look at him. 
I don't want anything else in, in Boston, though. To the Bulls, where I don't think that I'll want anything at all unless somebody's price is just weirdly moved. But at this point, everybody is sort of priced where they're supposed to be. Miritich is probably priced too high for where he should be. Shit. I just looked at Boston against their own selves. Eh, it's only Horford. Nothing's going to get any better. Okay, so Chris Dunn would look okay. And Rolo. Chris Dunn, 7,900 on FanDuel, 6,900 on DK. I'm in for Chris Dunn. Um, marking in 5,600 and 5,100. I'm okay with that. I don't really want any part of Miritich, Portis, Rolo. Needs 20 plus. I'd rather have Gortat at that price. So, on to the next one. Now this one, I mean, I'm just I'm throwing my hands up in the air here. I don't really know what the line is going to be. I've got it as uh, even with under 200 points. Um, no Gasol tonight. So, who the hell knows what Memphis is going to do besides just be shitty. Obviously, the Clippers are not exactly um, world beaters right now. Injuries themselves. Although, Taya Dosage is supposed to play. Which kind of makes me really interested in DeAndre Jordan. Or as interested as you can be in someone who's basically playing an exhibition game tonight. Okay. So you would think this would be a good Tyreek game. He would need 40 plus. Um, he's going to have like Taya Dosich on him or Lou Williams. So he's going to have the ability to do what he wants, but I don't want a lot of it. Andrew Harrison at 40. Um, that's forcing it. Let's just go to the bigs. Brandon Wright should get 20 plus minutes. Um, he's minimum salary on DK. You at least need some of him in case he pops. I think Deontay Davis looks okay as well, but I, I don't trust it as much. That's an A. Okay. To the clips we go. Also, not really an appealing situation from a fantasy perspective. Although, uh, I am going to have some Lou Williams for the same reason I had him last night. Who the hell else is going to do something? Lou Williams with 52.9 fantasy points last night. Um, River is 6,000 or 5,400. So he needs 25 plus on DK. I'm okay with it since Taya Dosich is back. I don't, I don't want him. Taya Dosich needs... 25 plus. Uh, I'm not interested there. I don't want any of Wilson or anything. DeAndre Jordan, 7,900 on FanDuel. So let's say he needs 40. He's had very good 40 point games with Teo on the floor. I think that's really a big part for him. No, um, no Marcus Saul is, is pretty big. So I think DeAndre looks good. Go to Miami. Miami is just a morgue. Right now I'm assuming Waiters plays, but I'm going to have uh, Wheeze on my short list. They play the Pelicans. 103.5 implied total for the Heat is my made-up line. Pelicans favored by three if uh, I have my druthers. 
but the Heat just don't have bodies right now. Coming on a back-to-back -back with, like, seven healthy dudes is not a recipe for success. It wouldn't shock me if the Pels just blow them out of the water. And I know the Pels are coming on a back-to-back -back as well, but it's different. Okay, so... Everybody looks fine. I'm ignoring Waiters and Josh Richardson, so definitely want to look at Tyler Johnson. Wayne Ellington looks uh, finally like a, a, just a normal play. He's going to have to play a ton. He's under 4,000 salary. Um, Olenek is 7,000 on FanDuel. Don't roster him. He's 5,900 on DK. I think that that's a much more realistic scenario, but he's also going against... Anthony Davis and Boogie. So, I don't really want any other part of the Heat. I don't want Bam. I'm, I'm going to pass on Jordan Mickey. Although, Mickey might need to play. I'm okay with having a little Jordan Mickey. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Now, to the Pels. I don't... This is a scary one. So... I don't really want to have any of Drew unless this pops off the page. I'm going to have to make a pick on the bigs. And I'll probably lean Boogie, actually, on DK. Um, what am I searching? Pelicans. Yikes. Okay. AD looks great. I don't want Drew, so let's just think about it. I would rather have Boogie on FanDuel. I think I'd rather have Boogie on both places. Anthony Davis, 10-4. Yeah, I think I want Boogie. I think I like that the most. Look, if you like AD, I, that's a reasonable stance to take. Go to the Jazz now. Hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, 20th implied total. The assumption is Donovan Mitchell is back. It probably doesn't matter. Alright, bombs away. Mitchell and Ingles. That's probably it. I don't want any part of Rubio. Price has gone up. Mitchell needs 35. You know, obviously he can get there, but I don't I don't trust it coming back off an of injury against a really good defensive team. Joe Ingles needs 25. Um I'm okay with that. Having a little part of that is fine. I don't want anybody else. Favors is too expensive in my opinion. Thunder now. 102.5 implied total, which is 16th. Um, shouldn't be very surprising what we need to look at for this team. They just played, didn't they? Or am I crazy? Did they play like two nights ago? Come on. Russ had a decent game. Where are you hiding, Mellow? So low in salary. Okay, he had a decent game, too. All right, I thought so. 
All right, Thunder now. Obviously, Jazz, no good. Back. I mean, it's hard to ignore Russ. He's at 10 9 on FanDuel, 11 2 on DK, but you, know, you gotta be. You gotta be looking at Russ. He's by far the best point guard prospect tonight. And then I'm okay on no George. I'm okay on no Mello. And I rarely ever want Steven Adams. So, Warriors hosting the Nuggets. Warriors 113.5 implied total, which would be first. Um, we're assuming Draymond play. We're assuming everybody plays except for Curry. So, would have liked to have a piece of Durant last night. I'm just. I was nervous about that late start. Okay. Trey's price is just so deflated on DK. Have to play Draymond on DK if you think he's going to play. 7,200. Should just know that it's him. Shouldn't need to point his last name. Okay. Um, Durant is 11-6 on FanDuel. 11-5 on DK. I mean, why why doesn't he have a big game against the Nuggets? Who? It's Wilson Chandler. Jordan Bell, I think, is just sort of too expensive now. You need Draymond to be out for him to be super useful. That's probably it for me here. Let's go to Denver. Denver would be a 104.5 implied total, which would be 11th on the night. Okay, so just mid-range. This is going to be a Jokic game. Okay, no thanks on Murray. He's probably a little too expensive. Gary Harris and Barton are the same on FanDuel. Barton, $500 cheaper on DK. Barton's minutes are down, and that's confusing me. I would love to take Will Barton tonight. He would need 34 for 6x. I just, I can't, I can't trust it. <laughs> On the back-to-back, -back, though, he's healthy. Gary Harris just getting back. I'll, I'll, I'm willing to have a piece of Will Barton tonight. Um, now, Wilson Chandler, 4,700 or 4,500. He needs, let's just say 25. He said three games over that recently four out of his last five have been over 25 um so i'll entertain that but more than anything what i want to see is uh wow, trey lyle still Jokic, 8300 on FanDuel, 76 on dk I'm a big big Jokic fan tonight. I liked him a lot last night as well. I'll go to Denver. No, we won't. We'll go to Phoenix. Phoenix, the assumption is uh, no Greg Monroe. Um, your mileage may vary on whoever you want to take as a center from the Suns. Suns hosting the Timberwolves. I have the Wolves as eight-point favorites in Phoenix. Um, mostly because uh, the Suns are a terrible basketball team and they don't seem to have a plan as to what they're doing. They sign guys like Isaiah Cannon and um, have the ability to just play him as if he's like their third best player, which is f terrifying. Okay, obviously Bledsoe's not on the team, so he doesn't need to be at the top of this. Alright, I was gonna say I like TJ Warren, but I don't like TJ Warren. I don't like anything here. 
Look, something from Phoenix will probably be decent. But if you want to dig through that quagmire of crap, be my guest. I'm going to go ahead and not look at them. Bender plays 30 minutes and he's a ghost. His plus minus must be fucking terrible. What is it? I just want to know. Uh, cleaning the glass has added lineup information and it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you could do on, off, and then specify which position the players are playing. So like, for example, all right, so Bender is a minus 10 on the season, which is whew, dreadful. But if I want to see just the lineups where Bender has played center, you can filter that down. So he's not more, mostly a power forward, but he has played 16 possessions of center in a Euless, Troy Daniels, Josh Jackson, Dudley, Bender lineup that's also been atrocious. But it's a really cool um, way to look at lineups now, presented in a much cleaner fashion than anywhere else that I've seen. Great addition by, uh, by Ben Falk. Now, Minnesota, this is um, obvious that we want some people from the Timberwolves. I think the shot profile is going to tell us a lot here. We sh I should ex I'm expecting to like at least two guys here. You know, they're playing the Suns. The Suns are atrocious. 112 implied total. Third on the night. We're going to want a big chunk of Minnesota here. Fuck. Stupid. Bad copy. I need to find a way to copy that thing faster. Or just start scraping it. And say sorry later. All the puppies are barking. Okay. So, this is going to be interesting. Alright. Um... First and foremost, because the discussion is Towns for sure. He's 9,500 on DK. But I love him stretching. You know, he's, he's going to be able to stretch the floor today. Um, and then it's going to be really whoever we want. They all shoot tons of mid-range shots. So... think that let's let's look at everybody individually teague 6700 on fanduel 6200 on dk um i think that i'll i don't know how i did what i just did i think that teague is going to be a pass for me even though he did have a big game in his last one and two out of his last three have been pretty tasty we have Wiggins at 5,800 on FanDuel, 6,000 on DK. I'd be totally okay with taking Wiggins on FanDuel. Butler is 8,900 on both. He'll need 45. Um, I was hoping for better pricing here. I like Jimmy Butler. I don't think they have really a defensive answer for him tomorrow. Or tonight, rather. Go to the Lakers. Lakers hosting the Portland Trail Blazers. Assuming the Blazers are not going to have Dame Lillard. Um, Lakers would be 105. I have the Lakers favored slightly against Portland. Um, because of Dame being out and the Lakers being at home. I'm not really sure where this line is going to end up. But... It should be in a pretty narrow window one way or the other. So I don't I don't mind too much here. I'm hoping to like a lot of the Lakers. Yeah. A lot of this is gonna be my Brandon Ingram night. I don't even need to look it up. Brandon Ingram. I'm gonna pass on Lonzo. This doesn't feel like the spot. Kuzma's price changed. Still at 67, so he's still climbing. He's 33. He's obviously been just been going bonkers. But it's not it's not the best profile for him right now. I think 
KCP might be interesting. 5,800 and 5,700. It might be a little expensive. I'll ignore that. But Julius Randle, I will take a peek at for sure. He's 25. He had 40 last night. I'm in. I'm going to fade Kuzma tonight. Might uh, rue the day that I said that. Now, Blazers. Um, I know people were freaking out when uh, Napier wasn't scheduled to start, but he obviously needed to play a ton of minutes. It didn't matter that he wasn't starting. you got to remember, sometimes in those situations, they're trying to keep rotations together. So you don't just necessarily bump up a guy all the time. It, it might be easier to move a guy like... Fuck, who do they start? Jake Lehman. It might be easier to move him all the way from like barely playing into a starting role and keep Napier in his same sort of warm-up path so he gets ready like he normally does and then just continues to play throughout the game. It's not always as cut and dry as it seems. Puppy dogs are barking up a storm. Say hi to Riggs. Say hi to Dingo. Blazers. This should be a fun one. Ooh, not the best CJ game, which is interesting. I wanted to get a piece of him with Dame out, but I don't like it. I mean, uh, whoa, they brought Shabazz's price up 5000 Jesus. I'm going to, I don't want it. I don't think I want anything here. Shabazz is okay, I guess, on FanDuel, but I'm not paying 5000 for him on DK. Not with all that going against him. Now, Nurkic is interesting, just because no, no traditional, like, real traditional big man for the Warriors outside of Bogut playing, a, or for the Lakers outside of Bogut playing a couple of minutes, so... Nurkic needs 35. Oh, he's been hopping good. I'm just going to fade Portland. Last game. Game no one should care about. The Sacramento Kings hosting the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs, seven-point favorites. This is a real line. Kings, 94 implied total at home. Worst on the night. No De'Aaron Fox. No reason to give a single shit. This team sucks. The whole team sucks. And they play the Spurs. Not exactly the best matchup for a team that blows. Um, I'll look at George Hill, I guess. 4,400 on DK. He needs 22. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want anything else here, I don't think. Garrett Temple at 3,600, I guess, is sometimes worth a look, but I don't give a shit about this game. It's the Kings. Now, the Spurs, no Gasol, no uh, Danny Green. Um, so, I do at least want to look at LaMarcus, if he fits the profile, um, which he's not going to because they're... Very high in shooting threes, or giving up three threes, rather. So that's not going to totally fit LaMarcus. And by totally, I mean not at all, considering that dude shoots more in the mid-range than anybody in the world. Um, so let's take a look at Patty Mills. He's at 3,700 on FanDuel, 4,200 on DK. He needs 20. Um... He just doesn't do that ever. He could have a decent game. That's, you, you don't want it. Bryn Forbes, 3,800 3,500. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid this f f quagmire of crap. I don't want any part of it. I guess Joffrey, 3,500 on FanDuel, minimum salary. 3,000 on DK, minimum salary. Um... I'm okay with it as a punt. You know, if you want to have a couple pieces of him in, you know, multi-lineup situations in a 
in GPPs, he might allow you to fit other gooder, good, yeah, gooder stuff, better stuff in. So that is it, my friends. That is the short list, which I'll be honest, it's a little shorter than I expected. So we'll do uh, a DraftKings optimal to start. Let's see where everything shakes out. So many guys, that's a very tiny short list. I still need to figure out if I'm going to even be able to play tonight. Alrighty. DraftKings. Pew! Let's do it. Russ, Bledsoe, uh -uh. Barton, Bam, Jokic, Dennis Smith, Joffrey, Mitchell. Nah, we're not going to look anything like that. I won't have Bledsoe. I won't have Bam. I won't have Dennis Smith. I won't have Donovan Mitchell. What do we look like if I do that? It's not a big drop-off from uh, Optimal there, so... Russ, Berea, Wayne, Lyles, Jokic, Lonzo, Bart. Yeah, it's, it's going to be different when I make my build. Let's take a look at FanDuel. I have a feeling Fandles is going to look a little bit more realistic to something that I would want to do tonight. Yeah. Russ, Napier, which is fine on Fanduel. Donovan Mitchell, Wayne, George, Ubre, Kuzma, Abaka, who I don't even remember seeing. Oh yeah, that's it. This has got this stupid five o'clock game filtered in here. It's like Abaka. I don't even remember looking at him because I didn't. Well, regardless, this is telling me that I need to have Russ and Wayne in a lot of lineups. There's Jokic, Ubre, Jimmy Butler showing up is is nice. You can get a Russ and Giannis lineup together here, which is always exciting. Yeah, if you need to pause it and take a look at this, you know these are some of the guys that are popping pretty heavy for me now. And that's it. That is this is the last uh, strategy video until Christmas Day. I'm gonna have one out Christmas Day, so pay attention for that. Um, you know, like, subscribe, Twitter, Patreon. Uh, you know, wherever you want to find me, I'll try to be there. But uh, happy holidays to everybody. Please, uh, please enjoy them with uh, your families if you are hanging out with your family for the holidays. And I'll see you guys Christmas Day. Bye bye.